Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today, we're here for the start of a brand new Terraria adventure. Today, we're going to be checking out Eternity Mode in the Fargo's Soul Mod. Now, some of you may remember that about a year and a half ago, I actually let's played Masochist Mode. Masochist Mode is kind of like Eternity Mode. Apparently, a lot has been changed, but to get you excited, a lot of people were kind of let down with Master Mode in Terraria 1.4. I personally, I quite liked it because I kind of like that style. It's based on Zelda and I love Zelda. But a lot of people wanted this. They wanted Eternity Mode. This is going to be the biggest challenge I've probably ever had in Terraria. And you know what? I'm here for it. I'm ready. So let's do it. So to get this started, we need to take this little star right here and activate it. Mutant's Gift toggles Eternity Mode, entailing the following. Deviant provides tips and assistance based on progress. Changes the world to Expert Mode. Changes all vanilla and solves mod bosses AI and many enemy AI. Compatible bosses drop additional loot, including exclusive accessories. Rebalances many weapons and certain mechanics. Introduces new debuffs and possible debuff sources. Increases cash from enemies and adds certain drops. Increases spawn rate. Cannot be used while a boss is alive. Okay, let's try this out. So right now, 16 damage. 14 damage. Eternity mode is now activated. And this... There's you. Hello. Are you alright? I've never seen this before. Akira. Well, hello, Akira. I will be honest, you kind of, um... You kind of ruined my test. I was going to show the difference in damage, but hey, it's all right. Hmm, I can tell. You've killed a lot, but you haven't killed enough. It's true. Eura sucks. The Weira can run pretty fast. Okay, this is going to be awesome. But yeah, uh, about a year and a half ago, I played through Masochist Mode. And for those that don't know, I never actually made it to the end. I really did want to, but I just wasn't good enough to beat the final boss. I spent many, many, many hours trying to beat it, but I never could. And I'm serious, I couldn't. It was really hard. It was like a version of um, of Duke Fishron, which is already kind of a... Uh, that's a rough start for me. I'm not very good at Duke Fishron. Um... So here we are. That boss has actually now been removed, apparently. Loads of things have been changed. I don't know everything that's been changed, but I'm just ready for a challenge. I feel like a lot of the stuff I've been doing recently is it's a bit too easy. I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for pain, basically. I'm looking for death counters that go into the hundreds. I'm gonna be honest. But before we proceed, if you've never seen me before, hi, nice to meet you. I'm James, I'm from England, I'm now 24 years old. I make these videos somewhat daily and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy them and you want to see more and also enable notifications around here um, on the couch. I care about what you have to say. That's a big thing. I feel like that should be included in the start. So if you have a comment, let me know about anything. Sounds good. Right. Um, this is overwhelming. This is overwhelming. We've got to, <laughs> we've got to get started. We, we have to. Um, <laughs> so let's, let's get going underground. Let's go checking things out. Um, and we'll also catch up because it's been a, a couple of days since I've seen you lot and I have missed you. I will be honest. I've spent the past week kind of, um, gamering out. I've pretty much spent it either walking about my city or in bed. And I'm not even joking, not in bed asleep, but in bed playing PlayStation or just playing like Nintendo Switch. I've been on a mad Binding of Isaac kick recently. Tomorrow, the next Binding of Isaac DLC comes out and I... I can't wait. I am, like, actually over the moon. Like, it, it feels so good. So that's that's kind of what I'm thinking about at the minute. In the back of my mind, I'm like, all right, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. I love the Binding of Isaac. I really do. It's probably my second most played game of all time next to Terraria. For those that are wondering, by the way, because uh, I checked this yesterday. In Terraria now, I have over 3,200 hours in total between all the versions um, not including, like, any console ones, because I've probably got about another 200 hours on console, um, which is kind of crazy. I wonder how many hours I have on Isaac. I, I imagine it's at least over a thousand. I would say so. I play it a, a hefty amount. Um, so let's, let's go find some accessories. Let's go find something to protect us. So just to kind of jump into this, uh, this is a medium world. It's obviously in eternity mode. Um, we're using Corruption, sorry, Crimson this time, since I never play Crimson, and everybody always says, alright, come on, Brain of Cthulhu, where's he at? 
So we're going to do Brain of Cthulhu in this Let's Play. Um, other than that, I'm just using all the, the Fargo's mods that are recommended with the pack. Um, I've got all my usual, uh, you know, bonus mods. So Vein Miner or, you know, Recipe Browser, Boss Checklist. I think by now, if you've seen one of these, you know the drill. But hey, if you haven't seen any of them, welcome. Uh, yesterday, Terraria 1.4.2 came out. That's, a, that's actually partially the reason why I'm a little bit late to this series. Because I was going to start something the other day. Um, but I heard that 1.4.2 was coming out. So I kind of delayed it. Mainly because I wanted to see if there was anything new. Like, for example, uh, a secret seed. Because I probably would have let's play that instead. Uh, I really did debate this series. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do fully. Um, but yeah, I was eventually just sold on this. And I was like, yeah, I actually really want to do this. I fancy a challenge. Um, I reached out to people in the spirit mod community. There's the first death. All right, it was inevitable. I was like, how are we going to get out of this? I was like, looking for a recall potion. Like, there's no chance. Um, but yeah, I reached out to the spirit mod community. And they said it's probably best to wait for a hard mode overhaul with that mod. Because apparently pre-hard mode has been changed and it's like bliss. So I'm really excited to do that one day. Uh, I also checked out Ultranium. Sorry if I can't pronounce it. Um, that looks really promising. And I do believe it will be a mod that pops up on Chippy's couch. But it's a little bit small for now. And I want something meaty to sink my teeth into. Because the wait for 1.4 T-Mod Loader is, you know, it's it might be a while. And I want something like, you know, really meaty to enjoy for a while. Yeah, that's right. I like um, I like a good bit of steak. It's true in my Terraria mods. Um, so I decided on Fargo Soul mod, and I think I've made the right choice. This already seems like a blast. All right, let's go grab that house anyway, because um, it might have something good in it. All right, not this way. As if this is like a desert hybrid. <laughs> it's a really rough spot to be in. But you know what? Even with Eternity mode, it's probably not as um as dangerous as it is in in 1.4. 1.4, they they tuned up that desert so much. They really did. I want to see what mods do with that desert, because I feel like that could be its own little extreme biome in itself. I think you could add a boss to that and make that like a post second death. Second death. You could make that a post Skeletron biome, I reckon. You change the loot a little bit, add a boss in. Yeah. So one thing I will say is I actually don't remember too much about Fargo Soul Mod or the Masochist mode in general. And I was trying to really think about why that is. And I think I've got a, a pretty good explanation. You see, when we finished this Let's Play, it was like weeks before the chaos in the world began. You know, like just a couple of weeks before. And I feel like because that was such a weird, chirp, uh, like turbulent, turbulent time. Turbulent? Is that the right? Turbulent. That sounds a little bit better. Turbulent doesn't sound right at all. But it was a turbulent time. And I feel like that is kind of... Um, that's kind of warped my memory a little bit. And get this right. So we did uh, Elements Awoken after after this. And that was at the start of the chaos. And I swear to you, I don't remember recording a single episode or even doing that mod. I was looking back on my, my Let's Plays and I was like, I don't remember recording this. Isn't that weird? I think it's because like every day was just so different. And I had lots to think about. It's weird, right? But I remember, like, <laughs> I remember now, the mod was really good. It's not like I didn't like it. Hey, a wolfy cushion. All right. Nice. <laughs> what an item. What an item to get. Okay, we need to, um... God, these jellyfish already look so intimidating. Like, <laughs> this already looks so scary. We need to find a better path in reality, because I don't think this is going to go anywhere. Let me try and dig down this way, because this seems to open up a little bit. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm following minimap logic here. And minimap logic looks like this is going to open up. Maybe? Yeah, it kind of opens up there. But will it open into a cave? I don't know. That's what you want at the start of a series like this. You want, like, nice open caves. You want lots of nice loot. Life crystals? Yes, please. Good accessories? Hell yeah. I'll take them. Um, <laughs> okay, right. Let me try and find some... God, those jellyfish. But yeah, if... if from what I can recall... What I enjoyed about this a lot was the accessories. I thought the accessories were so cool. I remember it being really difficult. I do remember that. I remember thinking like, this is this is crazy, like how, how difficult it is. And I remember trying to skirt around the word masochist. So it was called like masco or something like that. It sounded more like a cheddar, you know, like, like a cheese. Um, 
<laughs> but we guess we don't have to worry about that now. Maybe that was the, the reason it was changed. I don't actually know. I don't. Maybe it's to, to make it stand out a little bit more. Hard to, hard to say. I wonder what they'll do. Because um, oh, this is a kind of interesting. I was going to say, I wonder what they'll do when, um, when Master Mode does come out. It, it seems like Fargo has actually put out the Master Mode mod. So it basically just does all the, the number tweaks that... Um, that vanilla 1.4 does because everything is like 30% more damaging or something like that. That's literally the change So it's a very easy mod to make that is a wicked item Wow, what a great item to get right at the start of the game. Thank you very much. We've also got um Sunflowers, it's very very sweet. We'll take that. That's gonna go in the first home. That's gonna be lovely um, So I'm excited to do multi-class I think one thing I'll do is I'll try and, um, if I see any, like, really cool mod-specific weapons, I'll try and use them as much as possible. But we'll try and fall back on some of the more powerful weapons in some of the rough situations. But hey, if you've got weapon recommendations, or you've got a path that you want to, you know, put forward if you're a big Fargo guy, let me know. Because I don't mind. I'm, I'm all down for tips. I am. Because I really don't remember much. <laughs> but I guess that's nice, because I wanted something that felt a little bit fresh. I had a really good selection in reality. Whether I picked Spirit or Tranium or this, it was all going to feel fresh to me, and I, I quite liked that. I felt like I was in a very lucky... Yeah, I just felt in a very lucky spot with this. All right, let's 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 deal with this. Do I have any grenades? Grenades would be awesome. Oh, I got some of these. These are a little bit better, aren't they? Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I think that was the new AI coming out. It seemed to hover around a little bit. Spooky. Have we got any bombs either? No. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's funny because you think you're all good in a situation like this. You're like, right, I'm on a rope. There's only a couple of slimes around. I'm going to be fine. But masochist, sorry, eternity mode is like, nah. <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> Please don't. Um, ooh, I'm actually surprised we survived that. Nice. Um, bam. Here's what we're doing. We're taking this. We're flying to the sky. We're going to try and get something from a floating island. Oh, yeah, that was one thing. You you can't breathe in space. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's just a small change, but it does. It makes a lot of sense. All right, let's see if we can find a floating island. Because um, that could give us uh, a set of wings. Oh, no, not a set of wings. We're in 1.3.5. Could give us, um, you know, protection from fall damage or a star fury, which would be awesome. This is a great pickup. I don't think I've ever had my first like episode ever have a grav potion usually it's like a couple of episodes in this is good oh okay first floating island all right let's see what's inside we're going to be careful because like we saw before we actually can't breathe so we got the red oh 50 damage no thank you and i an item was stolen from me what <laughs> which item no way <laughs> what was that about thankfully my whoopee cushion is protected otherwise i would riot <laughs> what is that about? The night was stolen from me. Is that what harpies do? Is that is that like in the mythology or something like that? Wow. I can't believe we've just been robbed. <laughs> Episode one. I'm glad they didn't take anything good. Like they're like, oh, now you don't have a pickaxe. Well, that's the run over. <laughs> could you imagine? Is it would it be possible? Oh yeah, we could technically we could farm pots, get some moolah, and then you can buy replacement tools, right? From a merchant. But that seems like such a, a faff, you know? I guess, is there any natural pickaxes you could find around? I guess you could always, you could get the money and then, you know, get a reaver shark or something like that. I'm putting way too much thought into this. I just can't believe we've been robbed. In broad daylight, please. Oh, okay. Second floating island. Will it be a real one? Oh, it is. Nice. I didn't know if it'd be a, a pool. Okay, right. Let's see what's inside. Lucky horseshoe. Star Fury. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, that is a pretty... That's a pretty sick weapon, isn't it? So how come we can we can breathe now? Oh, it's like we're a little bit lower down than than where you need to be. That's kind of interesting. Well, all right. I think we should probably get started on um, on some kind of home base at this point. Because it's, it's all moving very quickly. All right, let's make some houses. So one thing I do want to do in this Let's Play, kind of like we did in, uh, well, we we didn't really do it in the uh, in the Chicken Run series. Uh, I do want to have like a couple of houses scattered about, even though we don't have pylons. 
I really like the the idea of pylons. I like that, you know, we have like an interconnected world. I think it's kind of cool. At first, I, I, I didn't really... You know, when I used to play Terraria, I mean, as many of you will know, like it, having multiple houses scattered around the world just didn't appeal to me. I, I, I just didn't see the point. I was like, I like everything being really convenient. But now I'm, I'm, I really am a changed man. I am. I kind of appreciate the world a little bit more. You know, I, I don't see it as, um, as disposable. And I think because I got this as a comment, somebody was like, oh, could you, you know, do multiple houses makes the world feel more lived in. I was like, all right, I can try it. But then, yeah, ever since actually trying it, I'm like, this is good. This is really good. I tell you what, it's kind of a testament to um, to Relogic in that sense because they kind of took the time to, to push their way of playing because, you know, that's how the developers like to play. But it kind of seems like the right way to play now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I see people's homes and they're all clustered together. I mean, I, I can't really preach too much. I mean, I lived in a treehouse in the last Let's Play but I see it now and I'm like, oh, you're kind of missing out a little bit. You know, you gotta you gotta spread that out a little bit. You know, you gotta make the world richer, grander. I feel that. Now this is all coming from a man that's building wooden box homes again. But hey, like <laughs> can't change too much, alright? I'm 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 this I'm set in stone in a way. Yeah, I've been playing Terraria for a long time. Coming up on ten years in May, which is wild. And how long are we, we, we've got April and then, so we're about six weeks away. Six to seven weeks away from the 10 year anniversary. It's, it's bonkers. It really is. I really, it's bad because the try development's meant to have stopped now. You know, this is the final, final, final update. But I really do hope we get something for, um, for the 10 year anniversary. Even if it's a special seed, it would make me so happy. I feel like we need to celebrate it in some way with official dev support, you know? Because there's only so much the fans can do. You know, we can we can all make cool adventure maps to celebrate and stuff, but I'd love, I'd love to see something, something official. All right, this house is almost done, which is nice. I'm loving my extra vertical jump. It's very cool. Uh, can I make a chimney? Oh, I might be able to. Let me convert these back and let's see. Hey, a chimney, nice. All right, this is a little bit bad. Because the, the fire is just kind of coming up from, you know, behind the wood. I don't know how safe that is. But hey, I quite like it. Actually, I'm going to move this table and chair. I don't really like it here. I'm going to bop that along. Bop. Thank you very much. Um, so for those that are not in the loop, maybe you've been gone for a little while. Maybe you're coming back today. Hello. Uh, I'm in the process right now of waiting for my house to be built in real life. That's right. I talk about this as I build Terraria houses. Um... And the updates on that have been amazing. Uh, it's been really cool. The The roof is half done. Last time I saw it, which was yesterday. The roof is like done on the front, but not done on the back. It's been flying by. It really has. Uh, I don't really want that. Yeah, it's all it's all been flying by. It's so cool to, to watch it. And for a long time, I wasn't really bothered about when it was complete. I was kind of just like, well, it'll be done when it's done. But now... No, I am like, I am so into it. <laughs> it's all I can think about. I've been like struggling to sleep because I'm like, oh, it's going to be so, so cool. Right. Um, that's looking good. Right. Let's go do some more exploring. Um, you know, we can't just end it here. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot around the world a little bit. I'm going to go. So this is the crimson. We've got a good glimpse of that. I think I'm going to go to the left and I'm going to see if there's any more natural cave openings that we can kind of run into. Tell you what would be funny if the um if the harpy stole the mutant's gift, that would be pretty good. <laughs> that would crack me up a little bit. But you can never turn the mode off. All right, you're you're forced into it. The harpy has decided. So how much was all? Oh, worm snack summons giant worm in pre-hard mode. Summons digger in hard mode. Right. So, I'm confused. Is this? Is this something you would get if you wanted to farm worms? Is that what it is? Like, if you really want a giant worm, you can get a snack and, and lure them in? That's kind of interesting. I don't know what the, the point of that is. I don't know. But hey, kind of cool. So, I've just noticed this as I was uh, sipping my, my coffee from the Featherworthy mug. Cactuses deal 18 damage. What? <laughs> Come on, Terraria, please. That's a bit much. 
I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to do this my own sanity. We'll probably have to keep doing this throughout the adventure. At least until we're a tank or made of cactus ourselves. But that is a lot of damage, isn't it? 18 damage. So it's basically five to six hits. You're a dead man. And that's like not even factoring in the fact that that enemies in the desert are really awful. Okay. Um, so now we know. All right, I've got to I've got to build over here. I was gonna try and um, I was gonna try jump it, but whoop! There we go. Yeah, we'll we'll come and make a bridge at some point. All right, let's let's just work on this. We'll probably end up with cactus armor, I imagine. Now it's not something I would have made, but hey, like if you've got cactus, you may as well do something with it, right? Whoa, man, we got such a good little starting weapon, didn't we? We're so lucky already. Ooh, got an umbrella. Okay, that's cool. Nice to not have full damage. That's a good little item, I would say. You know, we want to protect our health as much as possible. You know, if we start, like, jumping around caves and, and falling into stuff, we are going to die pretty quickly. Oh, I need to check this out. Stat sheet. Right. So this is all the stats that we've got. So our max speed right now is 18.5 miles per hour. That's like um a granny scooter. <laughs> our life regen is 2 HP a second. Our max minion is one, and our max sentry is one. That's interesting. I've never actually, like... I've never delved into stats too much in Terraria. But that is cool. That's nice. It'd be cool as a little Binding of Isaac little uh, display on the left. Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with Binding of Isaac, alright? It's gonna bleed through. You wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna be playing this. I'm just gonna be... <laughs> I'm just gonna be talking about repentance. Constantly. Um... Okay. Shiny boys, thank you very much. I thought this was going to be a natural cave, but apparently not. All right. Um, let's go. Yeah, just trying to find just one more natural cave entrance. They'll be satisfied. I've been finding, I've been talking about this a lot at the start of other Let's Plays, but I do find that it is best to explore as much as possible in the first, like, you know, day or second day. Don't just keep diving into the same uh, cave, you know, mix it up a little bit. And usually, I find, you find, um, you know, better caves off to the side, which is cool. All right, so what we've found is the jungle. Now, I don't really want to imagine what nightmare that is. Look at that, poisoned and lethargic in the water. Oh, this is awful. We're going to die. <laughs> I just know it. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to last very long in here. But you know what? If we're already here, we may as well check it out. Um, ooh, I wanted to see if I could jump over. But because we go in the water, we become lethargic. So let's go this way. Good thing about the jungle. I say this all the time, but, you know, natural cave. And oh, no, no way am I going into that pool with those piranhas. Not a chance. No, thank you. Tell you what, a hook would be nice. That'd be good if I'm killing all these piranhas or a robot hat. I never find robot hats. Small tangent, but I don't. And I really like the game cave story. I feel like, um... By law, I should probably get it a little bit more. But I, I feel like I'm predetermined pre never to get it. I, I don't... I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've had a robot hat in years. I cannot remember the last robot hat I ever had. A bandage is sweet, but it's not a robot hat. <laughs> I won the robot hat. I do. Okay. All right. Nothing there. Let's just keep it going. I don't know if piranhas are increased spawn or the jungle's just nasty today. I wouldn't be surprised. One thing I do hope is that we got some official uh, texture packs from Terraria artists yesterday. I hope that they, you know, just host a little download link so that people playing um, 1.3.5 modded can check them out. I think that'd be kind of nice. I feel like that would be a, a cool thing for them to do. I don't know if they will, but it would be good. You know, because people... Oh, God. All right. I did say the jungle was going to be pretty ruthless. Because a lot of people are still playing modded. It'd be cool to, like, get an official texture pack for modded. So I think we will. I think we'll make that, um, that cactus armor. So let me grab my iron real quick. Um, well, there we go. Because we need to make an anvil. It's only five iron. I did think it was more. Then we can make it. Wait, do you actually need... Do you actually need the, the anvil? I don't know now. I feel like it's, um... I feel like now I've done it, I'm like, no, surely it's, um... Surely it's like just a crafting bench. So how do we look? We look interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the gladiator helmet. But in a let's play like this, I'm like, you gotta try it at least. 
All right, let's do a, a tiny bit more mining uh, down in this first cave, and then we'll probably call it a day for today. It's been a good little establishing episode. I hope you lot have enjoyed it. So I don't know what this is. Oh. I want to see what debuff this has around it. Oh, it doesn't. I kind of assumed that it was like an aura of death. Like, maybe that's where we got the, the confusion from. Maybe. Now it's just me that's confused. Let's go down and confront it. Oh, it's got it's gone into here. I feel like it might actually be like buffing other enemies or healing them. This looks so awful. It just does. Like, <laughs> like none of this looks safe. Um, man, I feel like um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm intimidated. I, I gotta say it. Oh, I love this combo. Red balloon, umbrella. I keep going to use it like a weapon though, because I've got 1.4 on the brain. It's really strange. I am looking forward to the two mod load of 1.4. I feel like that's going to be such a big day in the community. But I will say, give the give the two mod loader team time. You know, they're doing such a good job. Like I'm so proud of them, and they they do it for free at the end of the day. Um, but I I can't wait for that. It's going to be really exciting. A lot of talk yesterday about team mod loader 1.4. Because of the Steam Workshop support. I think a lot of people, I don't know why, but they got kind of confused thinking that Steam Workshop was 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 for 1.4 T-Mod Loader. I don't know what happened, but that seemed to be the idea. Everyone was like, so so is this a mod? Because I, I, I was looking at the comments on Steam Workshop. Like Somebody would resprite an item, and it'd be like, the o Obama last prism. <laughs> and people would be like, so is this a modded item? No, it's, it's an item though, for sure. Uh, all right. I think... Ooh, rabies shot. Cures feral bite. Oh, okay. I like that. I think for today, we'll, we'll end it there. That was a blast. It was a hoot. It was great. Right, so, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been episode one of Attorney Mode in the Fargo Soul Mod. Did you enjoy it? Let me know. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, give it a big fat thumbs up. And as always, a big shout out to our channel members rolling by on screen right now. If you want to learn how to become a member and have your name in the credits alongside a very special badge in the comments, uh, there's a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Or next to the subscribe button, you have the join button and it tells you all about it. Right, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.